they'll be back. Hard to know, dear. There's someone at the door. Hi, Mum! Mum, Dad, we're back. Charlie. Goodness. This is Willy Wonka. He gave us a ride home. I see that. You must be the boy's... Parents? Yeah, that. He says Charlie's won something. Not just some something, the most something something of any something that's ever been. I'm gonna give this little boy my entire factory. You must be joking. No, really, it's true. Because you see, a few months ago, I was having my semi-annual haircut, and I had the strangest revelation. In that one silver hair, I saw reflected my life's work, my factory, my beloved Oompa Loompas. Who would watch over them after I was gone? I realized in that moment, I must find a hair. And I did, Charlie. You. Oh, that's why you sent out the golden tickets. Uh-huh. I invited five children to the factory, and the one who was the least rotten would be the winner. That's you, Charlie. So what do you say? Are you ready to leave all this behind and come live with me at the factory? Sure, of course. I mean, it's all right if my family come too. Oh, my dear boy, of course they can't. You can't run a chocolate factory with a family hanging over you like an old dead goose. No offense. None taken, Jeff. Chocolatier has to run free and solo. He has to follow his dreams. Gosh darn the consequences. Oh, look at me. I had no family, and I'm a giant success. So if I go with you to the factory, I won't ever see my family again? Yeah. Consider that a bonus. Then I'm not going. I wouldn't give up my family for anything. Not for all the chocolate in the world. Oh, I see. That's weird. <laughs> There's other candy, too, besides chocolate. I'm sorry, Mr. Walker. I'm staying here. Wow. Well, that's just... unexpected and... weird. But I suppose in that case, I'll just... Goodbye, then. Sure you won't change your mind? I'm sure. Things are going to get much better. And for once, Grandma Georgina knew exactly what she was 